Wow. A nice play. How was it with the wind? Uh, I have the gyro on. Okay. So I am not feeling it at all. Let's see if I get an area into the wind. Jesus. Try bringing it for a low pass. You know we got a heavy crosswind. Oh, it just glides. It just. Is it easy to fly? Oh, it feels a lot like one of your profile homies, I can Oh, okay. The wind took it there because that let off. The Did I tell you squeak last week did a touch and go, but like his back wheel was still up in the air? Oh yeah. It was one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Like I've seen Swika do it before. Oh, you wanna try that? Sure. I don't really. Well the wind's back now, so. Not, oh, I just <laughs> lost it for a second. I was trying to watch it. I swear, it's so much easier to track the plane on this. Well, it's a slow, I got a slow, fly, a slow flyer prop on it. I don't have a wood prop. Still, it's just... you're going to fly this eventually. But yeah, it, it flies so slow. No okay job on that. Okay. Time to start bringing that in. Oh my god. I would. Hey everyone, I just made in my precision aerobatics addiction. Um, beautiful balsa plane. I got the green and white. I love the green and white. Very easy to see in the air. And I have all the recommended hardware. I got the IPA Pro Kit, which comes with the servos, the motor, the speed controller, and everything. I also bought off of eBay this really nice green spinner, and uh, I'm surprised I found one in that color. And the IPA kit doesn't come with a Vox prop, it comes with the Slowfly 11 by 3.8 prop, um, which was a lot of fun. Even in this wind, when we got here, there was no wind, right, Cal? Yeah, there's there was no wind. wind. I went to take off, wind, and wind everywhere. But despite that, I decided to fly it, and let me tell you, a beautiful plane. It just took off right off the ground, went straight up. I went inverted, kept straight, 
went came back it was still going straight gorgeous um very light uh this is my first year of balsa this year this is my fourth balsa plane they are so light they're so much different than foam all my foam planes including um, the flex innovation ones when i do my flat spins like eventually my right stick goes almost all the way right i go from left to right and it's almost full to get a good flat spin and for this this guy and a lot of the balsas you just go over a little bit and it flattens out um, it's a lot of fun to learn a little bit of a learning curve but i'm having a lot of fun with it i can fly it in the wind because i have a potenza aura 8 in here from flex innovation which is beautiful have that running on just a satellite uh spectrum satellite and i'm running it on a 3s 2250c battery i can definitely recommend this took me about a month to put together because i did it right um, with the glue and making sure everything was in just the right place. I love this plane. I love the way it flies. Even in the wind, I'll fly this in the wind any day. My landings, when I came down, it wanted to do three point. Yeah. Um, even on my touching goes, I was trying to keep the rear wheel up and it wouldn't. It kept, kept going down into a, a three point landing. So the most important thing with these planes is take your time putting them together. They, uh, they're like, oh, you can put this together in a few nights. Don't rush it. Take your time, enjoy it, get to know your plane. Like, just do a little bit each night, and in the end, you'll have a really nice flying plane. So that's it. Highly recommend the Addiction, as well as the Extra 260. That is still my favorite plane. I'd say this is in the top five um, of all my planes. All right, thanks everyone. Talk to you later.